everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Camp Funko Toys and Collectibles. I'm Kai. And I'm Kata. And today we have the newly released TMNT NECA of Mondo, Gecko, and Muckman with Joe Eyeball. Now, these were just released to Target's uh, in Michigan. I'm not sure if they were released worldwide yet. I'm pretty sure they were because Michigan's usually late to the party. <laughs> so, uh, uh, this is from Volume 4. This is from Volume 5. And I'm just now noticing that they've got a a crap ton of writing on the back, so I am going to read that. So, on... On, uh, Muckman and, uh, Joe Eyeball's back of the box, it says, Mutated by Ooze, former garbage men, Garson Grunge, and a Joe Junkie become the world's smelliest sort of superheroes. Mugman and Joe Eyeball aren't here to clean up the town, but they will trash the foot and make a mess out of Manhattan while doing it. Includes trash can, backpack, extra hands, swappable mouths, rock, rockalizer. Is that what that says? Yes. And barrel of ooze accessories. Ooh. And here, open the thing. Oh, of course, of course. Woo! <laughs> Those are some freaking cool looking characters. <laughs> Not gonna lie, they look, they look kind of creepy to me, in my opinion. But uh, well, I mean, they're from Saturday morning cartoons in the eighties. Of course, they're gonna look a bit. Creepy. Yeah, uh, I, I agree. So, just like always, NECA puts their all into the detail of these cartoon figures. But not oh my into the articulation. Not, the well, I mean, yeah, a lot of people say the articulation kind of sucks. But, like, just the sheer amount of detail of making them look like they came out of the cartoon is just so... It baffles me how well it's done here. It's so cool. I really, really love their stuff. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't? Or at least their cartoon stuff. Yeah, the cartoon stuff. The movie stuff is pretty cool and all, but I've got a soft spot for the cartoon line. Yeah, don't we all? All and right, here, I'm going to read off the back of Mondo Gecko's stuff. There goes my phone. Wow, <laughs> I'm going to turn that on silent real quick. I do that. You read it. Okay. Um, Plucked from the sewers by Malev... By Ma I can't do this. Coda, can you read it? There you go. I Dang it. Turn your phone on silent. Plucked from the sewers by Malevolent Mr. X. Mondo Gecko only knew a life of crime. That was until his, until this gnarly skateboarder met the long lost sewer mate, Michelangelo. Met Hell, his long lost sewer mate. Hell yeah, man. Mondo and Mikey soon realized they were born to be best buds and teamed up to thwart Mr. X's villainous venture. I didn't know that him and Mikey were best friends. I mean, definitely looks like they would be. I mean, come on. <laughs> Hailing from the distant planet of the Turtleoids, Kerma was not typically. Terrapin, what the hell does that mean? I don't know. As the as the sanctist, I can't read that. This, that second part is just, it's got a ton of words that I do not understand. Can you understand it? Anxiety or something? I don't know. Okay, his beloved, it was, it was, I'm sorry, yeah. my brain doesn't work this... today. Okay, I think I got it now. <laughs> All right, ailing from a dis distant. The distant planet of the Turtleoids. Karma was no typical Terrapin. Terrapin means turtle, Coda. <laughs> As the sanctity of his beloved utopian city of Shel Shelverla was ter terrorized by the treacherous Herman the Horrible, Karma searched the galaxy for a savior. Surmising an Earthling could protect his peace-loving people, Karma brought Groundchuck, Dirtbag, and the Turtles back to his homeworld to defeat the do devious double-headed dragon. Yeah. <laughs> so it teased the ground chuck and dirt bag action figures, which were also revealed in the NECA live stream not too long ago. <sighs> Those figures are looking awesome. And this figure's looking cool. I don't know why the gecko's got hair, but I mean you can't really bring knowledge to a to a Saturday morning cartoon that revolves around turtles that are about the size of a ten year old. Yeah. And, yeah, there's no there's no logic to that. And these figures, again, are so incredible looking. By the way, Kerma is the smaller turtle there. So this technically this is a two pack, I yeah. guess, because it comes with a second action figure. All right, so so these things are going to take a minute to open. So we will be right back. So we're gonna jump cut to when they're all open, so that we don't waste any of y'all's time. Because I know y'all probably hate how long it takes for us to open packages and because of the boring commentary while doing so all right so we'll be right back so here is mondo gecko and kerma uh <laughs> there's so much going on here dude 
Uh, so Mondo's jaw does move. I don't think Karma's does though. No, his neck doesn't turn either. His tail, uh, get uh, Mondo's tail was did come separate, but and it was a pain in the ass to put on. But I did it without breaking miraculously. The wheels on his skateboard do move, so that's pretty freaking awesome. He also comes with a ray gun, whatever that white thing is that goes on his wrist. Comes with two alternate hands to hold things. That's I used one of them to hold the gun. And it comes with a tiny lizard, which I believe is him pre-mutation. Yeah. And a bag of money, I think. I think that's money. And a, a bomb of some kind. Yeah, it's got like a thermal detonator or something. <laughs> <laughs> nice Star Wars reference. Thank you. Uh, yeah, like, as Kai said, Kerma, his neck doesn't move, his elbows don't move, I don't think he, his feet move. He has very limited, uh, articulation. But this does technically count as a two-pack, then, because it comes with two different characters. So that's pretty damn neat. Uh, <laughs> alright, so... Oh, gonna... and his pelvis does move as well, at where the ripped shirt is. And, cool. uh, it's a pain, much like with other NECA figures, it's a pain in the ass to move his joints. So that kind of sucks, but like, come on. With this amount of detail, you can't, you, I, at least I can forgive them for that. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to Muckman. Alright, so here is Muckman. Wow. This guy is massive. Yeah, he's super huge. There's a lot going on Is that here. a sewer grate stuck to his foot? I believe so, yes. And Joe Eyeball, uh, sadly he does not, uh, stand, so I think he's just supposed to... Uh, just chill in the trash can, which also, I believe, doubles as the backpack. Yep, I think you're right. And it, that is real slime in there. But we're uh, not going to open it because it'll make a huge mess. It, yeah, it'd make a huge gonna, ass match. We're not going to mm. have another mind kit uh, situation, situation on our hands. Yeah. And this is the rockalizer, I believe. I think that's the gun. The gun. Yes. And Muckman also comes with an alternate mouth. He does come with an alternate mouth, yeah. And two alternate hands. Uh, there's so much going on. He's got all the articulation you would expect. I like the little trash can that Joel eyeballs in. I also like the banana peel that's on Muckman's head, all kind of nice, resembling hair. Nice detail there. Yeah, just oh my god, just the lining, the just the just it looks so clean. It looks so clean. Yeah, it looks so. Dirty Despite because, it being trash oriented. Yeah. Holy crap! Just all of the sculpts that it just NECA looks does. Very, it just looks very smooth. It very... looks professional. It looks like it. Well, I mean, it doesn't it's, look like it'd be a Hot Toys figure. But... Yeah, it's not like Hot Toys are first for figures worth. But it still looks amazing. So, that about wraps up this review. One more thing I want to say before the outro is that the the name on Muckman's box is called Muck Everlasting. That is a reference to, if any of you have read this book, it's called Tuck Everlasting. And it's a great book. It it's, also is very, it's very dark. It's very dark. Very dark. So, comment down below if you've read talk everlasting at all all right so thank you everybody so much for watching be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel be sure to hit that little bell icon for all future notifications comment down below if you like these figures if you even collect NECA if you do and you love TMNT if you hate TMNT what's your favorite turtle just anything we we love hearing your uh, opinions on stuff we love hearing your thoughts in general and we will see you in our next upload bye bye everyone adios <laughs> Hello viewers and thanks for tuning in to Camp Funko Toys. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and our Spotify podcast, Twins Talk Toys. This, this is, is Camp, Camp Funko, Funko signing out. out.